best FIFA 18 tips, check out FIFASalt.com. So here is my part one of my defending score. This is defending tutorial, the first of about five or six, maybe even seven. Last year I did um, a defending tutorial where I covered absolutely everything all in one video. So um, I'm doing it a little bit different this year. I thought I'd, I'd mix it up because a lot of you asked for further tutorials, even though you loved that one. It did very well last year, actually, FIFA 17. This one's about, I'm going to start with stand tackling, the new hidden feature of the power stand tackle this is absolutely incredible guys i absolutely love it already um you've got to get like your distances right though and, and the right sort of correct power um it is amazing i think it's going to be a big feature in uh, fifa 18 this year as well it is really going to revolutionize the game and um, change tackling so how to do it? it's basically stand tackle button which should be b on the xbox or circle on the playstation um, unless you've changed your controls but it's a stand tackle button and you power it up a bit like a shot really guys um but um, I'm going to show you some clips now of some some normal tackles. You can still do the normal stand tackle, just tapping it. That's what I've done over the years, just tap the stand tackle button when you're ready there. That's an interception. Um, you can still do that one. Even you can tackle them, you probably know this, where you just walk into them. Um, I think I do it with Kale here, with, uh, with Sadio Mane, just walking into them. Here, especially with penalties, a lot of us don't like to press a stand tackle or slide tackle either in, in the penalty area, especially with a four-star skill. You could do a Berber spin here and... Um, history it's a penalty but sometimes just running into them you you can tackle them you can see the power there there's none uh, that's that's the stamina that that sky blue you see in the bottom right there i just walk into him with kale there so you can do that sometimes you can even give penalties away with that sometimes you, you just can't win it all but um the the power tackle is what i want to talk about you see small in there two bars of power and that is the power tackle coming in absolutely incredible tackle um you really want to start using this in your game guys you need to get the the distance right between the two players, um, as I'm going to show you later, where, where I'm going to show you examples where it's wrong. This is where the ones where it's right. Um, it's, it's just basically when you full bar it, you don't want to be that close to them. You want to allow about a yard or two yards of space because he's really going to lunge in with his knees. It's going to be like really OP. Here with Cole Norton, it's just one and a quarter bars of power sufficient enough just to get the ball um, it is better than just tapping it I believe I, I've, I've really researched this this is how not to do it with Smallin I full barred this I was standing right next to him we're, we're, the players are literally like that so th there's no need to do it there you can see it's full barred you don't want to do the full bar when you're that close you want to do it when you've got about a yard or two yards between you um, so I thought I'd throw that in there's no point showing you how to do it without putting examples of how not to do it in as well there's Sadio Mane, I'm, I'm, I'm using it. I'm not going to stop to show you the power all the time. Um, that's just a normal tackle. It's absolutely incredible, guys. And um, This is going to be used by some of the top players and foot champions as well. So you want to get this into your game ASAP as well because um, it's going to be absolutely incredible this year. I'm going to be covering jockeying tutorials as well. Contain, um, absolutely everything, guys. So this is a great example. Sadio Mane, player of the month, this was. It's just come out in FUT. And KY put two bars of power in, and you can tackle from behind. It's okay at the halfway line or in, in the final third of their pitch, uh, of my in my def uh, not in my defence, sorry, in their final third because I'm not going to give away a penalty. It's all right here, but I don't even foul him. It's that overpowered. You can tackle from behind. Be as aggressive as possible in in FIFA 18 this year, guys, because it's an aggressive game. Um, and I get Mane one more time there with KY intercepting at the last second, get in front of him. So I had to. You can't allow players like that on the ball um, for too long. With Kale here, two and a quarter bars of power. I'll share that one more time in full flow. It's an amazing tackle. Just clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle, these tackles. Here with Rojo, I think I put about half a bar of power in that one. It's crazy. Just mixing up the bars of, of what type of tackle it is. If you've got two yards of space, you want to do the power tackle. If you're right next to him, just do the tap and, and the stand tackle. Killer tips. So I want to go through a few things. Um, this first example here with Smallin, this is the, yard, the the space that you need. You can see I've got about a yard of space there. So we want to do the power tackle. You can see where I'm just about to power it up. There's a quarter of a bar power there, but it actually ends up to be two bars of power tackle. This is when you don't want to do it. He does the knock on and I don't anticipate that. You can't read everything in FIFA. I would have had him there. So I've got the, 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 you know, the, the timing right. I've got the space between us right. You can see I slow it down. He knocks it on now with Martial. And... I give away a free kick on that occasion. This isn't a, a free kick with Klasenac. I get the, the timing spot on, and it's a two and a half bar, that is. I think it might even be three bars of powder Klasenac. I'll put that in one more time, and we're on our way with Salah. Look, threaded through ball. 
at close range. Look at this, beautiful, beautifully timed. It's not a foul, I hardly made any contact with the player. Let's play on. So it's just about timing, really, guys, as a stand tackle this year. If you're really right next close to him, just tap the stand tackle button. No power needed. And if there's one to two yards between the players, you want to power it up to about two and a half, three, three and a half bars of power. And uh, you'll tackle them every every single time, guys. So as I said, this is part one of defending school. I'm going to have um, the jockeying up, contain, how to defend from head headers, how to defend from corners, everything defending wise guys, I'm really going to smash out all the defending tutorials this year, so yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, like is always appreciated guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next tutorial.